I'm Dr. Iva Jenga, physician and endocrinologist, uh, here with Ponea to talk about thyroid disorders. So the, the third one, we talked about just a goiter, and, and that is just, it comes, a patient will come and say, there's something pressing me here, I can't swallow, and at night I have difficulty in breathing. And when you examine, you find that the thyroid gland is enlarged, and it has sometimes nodules, and it, or it could also be smooth. So those are the goiters. For the cancer, you'd have to investigate further to be able to make that diagnosis of a presentation of cancer. We remove some cells from the, the, the nodule, we send it to the lab, and it, uh, they give us a, a laboratory uh, diagnosis of, uh, of cancer. The reason why I talked about uh, the, the uh, I'm uh, giving examples of, of women, is, as I said, is very common. So if you are at that age, uh, from 45 to 55, and you, have, uh, you start having menopause, Menopause, sometimes people present with excessive uh, sweating. You know, they the, 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 the sweating, just sitting here and start sweating. But uh, you see, that one is very different from, from a thyroid, an overfunctioning thyroid. Because a functioning thyroid is, or you'll be feeling the heat all the time. Menopause, it gets waves. You know, at some moment, you just see it, it comes and it goes. Those are uh, the, the heat waves that the, the women get uh, during menopause. But I think uh, it's important that women know at that stage they are also more prone to get thyroid uh, imbalance. You see that that's why I said when you know what we are trying to create and to uh, tell people about their health is that prevention is better than cure. And if it was possible, if the government could provide awareness uh, platform whereby people can go for screening. Those are some of the things that as you do the other screening, you check your patient's uh, uh, blood levels, you check blood pressure, you check blood sugar. The things we, we try to say, there's a, a very simple way of screening whether your thyroid is abnormal or not. It's just one test. It's called thyroid stimulating hormone. It's used as a screening tool and it, it is very important that people should have that if you are able to. Okay, so that uh, means uh, you see the first thing is you have to diagnose. So uh, the idea is, uh, uh, and the, the important thing is now that we are trying to create awareness, if for any reason, because m a good number of this can be, uh, especially in women, usually occur in the family, the women lineage. So if my mother had a, a, a goiter, it's very likely one of our sisters may uh, get it. So it will be important for us to be aware, the daughters of my mother, to go for, for checkup. So when you go to, to a doctor and say, you know, my mother had a goiter. So that doctor should be, or your health provider should be prompted to think, let me check. You examine the, the patient, see whether the thyroid is enlarged or not. Ask the necessary questions that, uh, uh, considering what we have said, the symptoms are, see whether you can actually make a diagnosis by taking a history. So if, if you suspect and you think this patient may be uh, predisposed, then you send them to the laboratory to check the thyroid hormones. And if you find the thyroid is enlarged, you send them to radiology to do an ultrasound, and they'll tell you what kind of a goiter, whether it's what you are just seeing, a nodule, or whether it's even enlarged be, uh, behind, and you may not be seeing it. Because some, some of these uh, uh, goiters can grow, even retrosternally, and get into the chest and start compressing the, the, the organs uh, uh, in the chest cage. So the important thing is now, as you start managing the patient, I like to explain to the patient what uh, is happening to them and then about the medication you are going to give them. It is important also to tell them if there are any side effects of what to expect. Because if you don't, if a patient goes and now experiences a side effect of what you are giving them, they will stop and may not even come back to you. So you take that time at the time you are writing that prescription. So we said hypothyroidism or at a functioning thyroid, you need to give them the thyroxine. And it's important that if you are in the, uh, in the, in the community up in maybe level two or level three, consult or refer that patient to a facility where they have a physician who will be able to discuss this and uh, start the patient on the, on the right medication. Then monitoring of that thyroid as you go on, uh, when you start the medication, you usually give them up to three months for them to come back and see whether the, uh, the replacement is taking effect and also assess how they are feeling because Within three months of replacement, if you're doing it right, the patient will start feeling. All the symptoms they were telling you about, they will start feeling better. Some even start come back and say, oh, I even lost a kg and haven't exercised <clears throat> because you've made their metabolism back to the level that they are supposed to be. So that even the feedback from the patient that they are feeling much better 
is good enough to tell you even before you check the thyroid that they've already started improving. And you continue until you get to back to the normal levels and then you f see if you are going to give this medication for long, what is going to be their maintenance dose. And then you advise them. Once they are stable, most of them you don't need to do tests more than twice a year. Important thing to tell a lady who, who is in the childbearing age, who, who is on thyroxine and is hypothyroid, that the minute they get pregnant, they need to go for checkup because the dose will change as the pregnancy uh, uh, progresses. The baby will require, the baby's th uh, thyroid gland does not f uh, uh, function in utero for the nine months and they depend solely on what the, the mother is providing. So if a mother is on radon thyroxine, as they go through the different stages of pregnancy, you need to change the thyroid, uh, the thyroxine medicine and then dosage. So it's very, very important that you alert a woman in that age group. Uh, I would like first to thank all of you, the, uh, the Ponea team, and also thank anybody who is listening to this, wherever you are, uh, whether you are patient or not, uh, to take this information, make yourself empowered to learn about the, this condition. Should you think that you have something in regard to this, it's important to, you can go on Ponea platforms, there's a, a nap for patients, you can get the information where you can get more uh, guided uh, as to where to book to health professionals that deal with this. We have many the specialist uh, endocrinologists, both for adults and for children as well. And we also have physicians who really also will be able to guide you, in, investigate you, and uh, treat you or refer you to the correct uh, uh, specialists.